Good morning, Earth. Well, it is 4.37 a.m. and we have officially entered airy season with an earthquake. And this should surprise no one because March has been very earthquakey and technically 2021 has been super volcano eruptiony and earthquakey. Now this is a 7.2 initially listed earthquake in Japan. The good news is it is 54 kilometers deep, so it is not shallow. And so hopefully there will not be a tsunami, but a tsunami warning or advisory has been issued. So everyone, please don't let your guard down, especially anywhere near Japan until the danger has passed and this happened pretty much just as or right after a geomagnetic storm hit earth it is kp6 i think it's g1 maybe g2 and so i got the bad news is this in my guesstimation i'm not always right usually the geomagnetic effects on our planet, which lead to earthquakes, come about three days after we get the big hit. And so we will be looking for another large earthquake on the 23rd. Where it will be, I do not know. There's a guy on YouTube called Dutch Since. As your planetary defense commander, I consider him the best earthquake guy out there. Although I do not endorse any of his political beliefs. Everybody's got a lot of bullshit in their political beliefs these days. Anyway. Yeah, welcome to war season. Um, you know, it is... Oh, and happy spring. By the way, it's now officially spring. Oh, and check out this activity in action. So, yeah, the geomagnetic storm is from this big coronal hole right here. It's solar wind stream hitting our planet. Now, watch what happens down here. Ooh. You see that? That is interesting, exciting, and fascinating. And then we have a sunspot. Wait, let's watch that one more time. Because that is very special. Boom, bang, and then here comes the bang. All right, and then we got this old sunspot, and then this new sunspot coming. Wait, this is a sunspot, and then we have a new sunspot all coming here. And these are all happening on the same longitude. Which is interesting. But remember, with all the planets on the same side of the sun, it's, it's how we knew the earthquake and volcano activity was going to increase. With Uranus, Neptune, Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto, all over here, there's no, like, there's no balance in our solar system. Look, it is all empty. That we can expect more earthquake and volcano activity to increase. Just six hours earlier, we had a 5.9 earthquake in Mexico and you have a volcano range here like you got Papacatepel and then Pacaya, Fuego and Colima so this range has been active we saw vent steam come out of just south of Texas while the tornadoes hit so yeah if you thought your government's response was bad during a pandemic uh, just wait if we get hit by a big earthquake. Um, although then you'll either have a bunch of people say that the earthquake is a hoax, or they'll say that the government did it with their government earthquake causing ray beams. Because it's just how the truth community works, man. But yeah, and then we had the major Iceland eruption. And someone said it was no big deal, but then another person pointed out it hasn't erupted in like 5,000 years. So... <clears throat> These are interesting times. I've been recommending teamwork amongst Americans and Earthlings for eight years. Nobody seems to like that idea. So stay tuned. Okay? Great. God bless everyone.